Hi you guys, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, I would like to take the time out to say welcome and hope to see you again and again. Well, I was having some problems with my video and found out that I need to upgrade to a new video card. I picked up this HP Pavilion HPE a few months back. Here are the specs for it with the new video card. I don't know what the old one was. I guess I needed a video card that was a DDR5. Check out all the I.O. ports that it has. It's got a lot of stuff. This is what's in the front. On the top. And on the back. This computer is great for the average gamer or content creator. Anyway, let's get to work and install this video card. It's pretty easy. After removing all your power cords and plugs, lay your computer down on its side like this. And unscrew this screw. Sometimes you can unscrew it with your fingers, sometimes you'll have to use a screwdriver. Once you have the screw unscrewed, slide the side panel back about an inch and up. Should come out pretty easy. Set that aside. If you look right where your HDMI is at in the back and just follow it around to the inside of the computer, you'll see the video card. Here's looking at it from the bottom from a different angle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this screw out that secures all your cards in. Okay, now that you remove the plate, we're ready to remove the card. Now what you need to be aware of is the card is clipped on the back. So what you're going to do is lightly lift up the front, slowly. As you lift up, the front part is going to become disconnected. And what you're going to do is pull up and out. You'll feel the clip in the back. It just unsnaps by itself. Wow, there's a big difference in these two cards. I don't know the name of this card. but my new card is a GeForce GTX 750 Ti. It's got two gig. I guess I need a DDR5. It's pretty big. All right, let's install this bad boy. Now, just the way you felt when it came out, you're gonna do the same thing in reverse. You're gonna put the back in first in that clip area. You're gonna push down in the front and then you're going to push all of it down and it'll snap in. As you saw earlier, that card is going to be pretty big in length and in height. So it's going to be packed up back in these wires. So you're going to need to make some room for it when you push it in. Be careful that you're not pushing, breaking, or snapping any wires.
Okay, we got it in. We got the back in first, just like that. Now press down. Press the front. There you go. Now it's in. Once you do that, put that plate and screw back in. This plate secures all your cards in place. Okay, now we're ready to close the patient. When you put this cover on, make sure you have it out about an one inch, and you're gonna slide the front part in first, then down, and then slide it in an inch, and it should lock in. And just go ahead and put the last screw in, and you're done. Plug everything back in, and you're ready to go. You may need to update some drivers, but there's tons of sites out there where you can get that done. All right, can't wait to connect everything and fire this thing up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye!